It was last week that we did a story about a, a woman in her 80s who had had a breast augmentation surgery. Just sort of chalking up to more and more people are looking to medicine to try to continue to look younger. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth Arthur is here from the Hellendale Dermatology and Medical Spa. We are talking not about breast augmentation today, but about Botox. Botox, Botox, Botox. It's like people like he hadn't even really heard of it, say, 12 years ago. And now everyone's talking about it all the time because it seems to be a available in so many places and that's what's scary to you as a professional absolutely I mean you can go in some cities in the mall and get Botox you can go to your hairdresser and get Botox you can go virtually anywhere um, you know we've seen it filter into Rochester where perhaps somebody comes into the in town from out of town will invite 20 people into their home or something will sort of inject them and to me that's really scary because it is a medical procedure are you seeing people coming in saying, you know, I had something done and maybe I shouldn't have, but now something ain't right. We have actually had a couple patients admit that they have had patients sort of, or have had Botox sort of like an, an illegitimate situation. They did it, unfortunately, to sort of save a little bit of money, mm -hmm. and they weren't really entirely happy with the results. I've actually had some patients bring in bottles that they've purchased in Mexico or Canada, <gasps> and they've asked me to inject them. Uh -huh. and of course, I don't, you know, I would never do that because we don't even know what it is. And to me, that just blows my mind that somebody would do that. That is one of the warning signs that you're telling us about is if the price seems too good to be true. But I mean, I haven't researched it. I mean, if I'm going to go and get, I mean, how many shots versus like what's what's an average price? I don't well, know. Well, an average price is anywhere between like 250 to 450. That's for like one session. That's one for one session, okay. and that session, you know, Botox usually generally lasts for three to four months. I always tell patients most people get it done every four to six months okay. so you know some people get it done twice a year some people only get it done once a year um, but you really you know it is sort of a buyer beware kind of thing and, and really over the past few months I've actually had patients sort of you know what's your price oh well I can get it cheaper well I don't know if cheaper sometimes it is you know the cost thing you have to pay and you say to. be an aggressive consumer and that means like literally Talk to the person who's giving it to you, ask for papers, look at the bottle. Absolutely. When you're in that chair, what do you suggest? Well, there's a couple things. Allergan is a company that makes Botox. They've been very vigilant about really sort of making sure that their product stays very intact and keeps its integrity, um, that each bottle actually has a hologram on it, it has expiration dates, it has serial numbers. To me, if a patient asked to see that, I would not be offended. Um, you know, I think that you need to make sure that the person injecting you is licensed. Okay, that you know, there's a person that comes that has no license in this state. I would never let someone who didn't have some sort of license inject me with something. Um, and to me, it's like I think that you need to feel comfortable with the place. That if you know that they're an established business, that they've been there, um, that the person is an established person, well, then it's probably going to be absolutely fine. But I think if it's a fly-by-night organization or if it's some place that just pops up and then you're not sure they're going to be there tomorrow, uh -huh. well then you need to be careful with that. Well then how do you, do you tell, for example, um, you know, you might go somewhere that's respected for, say, cutting your hair. Um, well, how do you know if that's an okay place? Well, I think what you need to really do, I mean, a hairdresser isn't really sort of capable of injecting Botox. Uh -huh. So I think that that you need to sort of really discern. Um, you know, I think that sometimes, you know, cosmetic things will get into gray areas, but I think you need to be really sort of, you know, have some common sense about things that you wouldn't let, you know, your dentist take care of your toenails, probably. <laughs> so I think, you, you know, you just have to sort of say like, hmm, maybe this doesn't really quite make sense. Um, you know, as a dermatologist, we do a lot of skin care, we do a lot of peels, injections, things like that. I don't go and I'm not doing fillings on people's yeah, teeth. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not that's doing braces or something like mm -hmm. that. So it's like I have no business putting on braces on people. So. Uh, well, thank you because it's such a trend and, you know, yeah, you don't want to be that person who, oh boy. Thank you for coming in today.